Breaking news, police on the scene of a double shooting at a bus stop in West Columbus. ABC 6's Rob Wells is live now. Rob, you spoke with some folks out at the scene tonight. What have you learned? Absolutely. A lot of developments out here tonight at Southampton and Broad. This all breaking out about 3 o'clock this afternoon. Columbus police telling us that, again, two people, a young man and woman, were shot just a few feet from where we're standing, right up there at the intersection here, again, in the 3000 block of West Broad Street. They said right after that happened, the pair ran inside one of these apartment units, basically seeking shelter, trying to get away from those shooting at them until police and paramedics could arrive on the scene. We have some video we want to show you. From just a little bit earlier, Columbus police say that those two victims were rushed to an area hospital with at least one gunshot each. They are not releasing their names or conditions. Just within the last few minutes before we came on the air, Columbus police putting a young man in the back of one of their police cruisers after they say he admitted some part in the shooting. Right now, they are still talking to him. No charges filed as of yet. And we understand there may be even more people involved in this afternoon shooting. Neighbors say that the area has seen its share of problems over the past few years, and it is only getting worse. I've lived here for five years. All that I see over there is alcohol and drug related, in and out. So they sit on the sidewalk over there all hours of the night drinking and yelling. Neighbors who also live here tell me that, ironically, the young man who was shot in the incident about 3 o'clock this afternoon, he was a good Samaritan in this area less than a week ago. They say on October the 30th, right at that same intersection, he actually helped somebody who was involved in a bad auto accident, got them out of the car, pulled them out to safety, and got them to the hospital. Now, less than a week later, he is at the hospital himself. Again, when we learn the names and conditions of the victims, we'll pass it along to you. But for now, reporting live in West Columbus, Rob Wells, ABC 6 News.